Wait, no, that can't be right. Baba is who now? Hi everybody, my name is still Cthulhu EG, or Kleptoplast, or Darvo Prower, or whatever, whatever uh, flavor of the month. Um, welcome back to Baba Issue, and today it's time for the Forest of Fall. Um, this was one of the first worlds I completed, I think. Oh yeah, it starts off strong with a teleport mechanic. Um, honestly, this one, like... It's not really because the mechanic itself is confusing. Oh my god, I'm like... I say that and I'm definitely not thinking at all about what I'm supposed to be doing here. I think I did this super wrong. I think I just assumed, oh, I can push the love, so I'm supposed to solve everything by teleporting the water away. Because for some reason I didn't realize that text could go through teleporters. But it can, as you can see. Um, and then you just break that one. Yeah. There might be a harder version of that or a harder variation on that theme. Oh, no, okay, I was remembering correctly. Yeah, this is the one that was a little more confusing. Um, so, yeah, you. I don't think there's any particular trick to this. I think you just get two of the waters stuck on top of each other and make sure you actually time it so it happens that way and not uh, so that both teleporters are ruined by it. Um, so since water is defeat but not push or anything, yeah, I can get that off of there just by pushing it. Um, Yep, I don't think there's, like, it seems a little weird how much stuff ends up stacked on top of other stuff, but none of that really affects the basic functionality. Um, I say that, and actually I do believe that the one trick to this is you do this just to, um, just to get one of the waters out of the way, because... Yeah, maybe you can stack them, but you don't have to, and why would you do it if you didn't have to? Haha. <laughs> That's the smart way a gamer plays with Baba. Um, yep. So, I, I feel like that one, that might not be the fastest possible solution to that, but it definitely works, and no need to overthink it. Is this the first time pool has showed up? Pool is a good mechanic. If you walk away from, like, directly away from something, you pull it. It's pretty intuitive. Um, so I can get, yeah. This is, I made that much harder to solve than it needed to be, so. Yeah, pull is functionally the same as push, except for where you are positioned, which means that... Yeah, you, the uh, um, really convoluted puzzle I sped up last episode was a push puzzle, so this probably is the first pull one. This is a very... How would I go about this now? Because I want Keke to be both move and pull. Um, but I don't know if you can get that is. Oh, um, I don't want to move that up is the one problem. I could always just... Oh wait, no, what am I even talking about? The key has to be pull, not keke. What a, what a mistake. Yep, okay. Yep, nothing to that. I was, as always, expecting the puzzle to be much harder than it actually is, because 
for most of the game, that's a good assumption. Rock is tele and push. Alright, so you can't use it while it's... <laughs> that's a good joke. Not sure if there's more to this than just getting the text all on this side so you can... Well, actually, hmm. I say that, and obviously you want... No, you just need the rock to be... T yeah, okay, I, I remember the little joke here. You want it both, but you can't obviously get it both when the... Alright, that's not how that works. Yeah, later on there are some puzzles where you have the word teleporting. Now what you want to do for this is, uh... Oh, never mind. I'm like, this is why you should probably read the things. Um, so all you really need is the rock to be pushable while you're over there, which you can't accomplish this way. But what you can do is, uh, yeah, there was no reason to do all that mess while the rock is still push. Or, no, rather, without making the rock push, you do this and now every other frame it'll be pushed. Yeah, that, that's what I was getting at. Just overthinking it a bit. Oh. That's, that's sort of a good joke. So now you want it to not be teleport anymore. Except you do want it to be teleport anymore because you want to get back. So. I guess I could just be like a slight bit patient and remember that it's not all um, funny logic puzzles and sometimes it's just block pushing puzzles like that one. I, I, I don't think I was thinking about that correctly the first time I did it. A lot of these, like, you can really just brute force unintentionally. Okay, so... The, the joke of Baba here is probably just that Baba can be telly. I... yeah. Yep. Except you don't want it up quite that high, so you desync them a little bit, and there. And then, whoops. Oh, you don't do that. You break the teleporter because you don't need it. You don't break Baba's you because you do need that. And uh, there we go. I hope you like my official strategy guide on how to beat this video game. Um. Yeah, a little. Th th this world has a lot more levels by default than most of them, and the little color coding is interesting. I what's the deal with this one? Just that you can push a guy to teleport. I don't think there's much to it beyond that. Yep, that's. And okay, the oh, okay, okay, okay. I get it. The twist is that um, well, one twist is that you don't want to do that thing I just did. Can't tell by where I'm pushing it. Yeah, you just.
just want the ghost to be is because if it teleports how do I deal with that I guess it doesn't oh well, it, it doesn't matter if the if the leaf is on is but it does matter if Baba is you. Uh, I'm just gonna restart this one. I don't think I messed it up per se, but there's definitely a more elegant way. Yeah, okay, I remembered the elegant way. Wait, I lied. I was thinking, oh, I could just use the is from Baba is you to make Leafa's push. I guess I still could do that by teleporting it. Yeah, that's probably... Th I think that'll work out, because if I'm controlling Baba and the leaf is pushable on alternate frames, that means that it'll always be pushable after Baba moves because of the way that the rules resolve. And I shouldn't have to push anything else after that. Well, I should... I do need to have the ghosts in the right place for at least some of the time. Just a little joke. Yeah, this is another one, like, I just don't really remember how I did it the first time. I don't really think this was how I did it. I think I did do some sort of telefragging with the... with the leaf. Okay, so... I don't want it all the way to the side, actually. That'll work fine. No, that's fine. I wait. No, that actually doesn't work at all. Hmm. If you think about it, it, it works if you don't think about it. Oh my god, I'm like so galaxy brain. Sometimes it's frustrating. It's like it can't ever be using that is because it's on the top of the sky. That would be too easy. They've obviously considered otherwise, except that you can do it if you want. There we go. Oh yeah, I was sort of muttering earlier and didn't ever finish the thought about the different colored levels. My assumption is that those are just, uh, oh, I like the zoomed in ones. Um, my assumption is they introduce new mechanics when you go to, like, a different section like that, and that's true to some extent, but, like, it's not like they don't introduce new mechanics within the same block of levels, so it's all a little arbitrary and fun. I remember spending a little bit getting the, getting the way that this was laid out just right, so basically... Since the box is always pool, yeah, you want you can't do that. What you can do is uh, not that either. All right, you go a little something like this. Oh yeah, and then you just uh, come back around here and have a block of four. And then you have, yeah, you change which one is hot at the same time and a little bit more of a puzzle just to get it the rest of the way out. And you are good, except that you want the flag not to be pool anymore, so you do that. That was not as bad as I was thinking based on how long it took me. I, I think I just didn't understand how pool worked exactly at the time. I didn't, like, it didn't make sense to me that 
one object would pull another just because both were pull. I don't know. Ghost friend. Apparently this one like got patched and is too easy or something now. I don't really remember what it was like the first time or if it was patched before or after I beat it the first time. But basically this is one of a lot of levels with the theme that where like the flag or something essential is also you and you can't change that and then it's going to run into a skull if you go too far in a certain direction. So what you really don't want to do is go back here because now you're desynced and there's no way to sync back up. Um, trying to think, what am I specifically trying to do here? There's no real trick with the ghost. Like I can't make it go in a different direction. make the ghost me instead of Baba temporarily at least by having it pull the... or no, I, I always think that um like ghost is pull means that it can pull other things but now you, you like there's nothing you can do to make the text pullable in this level so you don't mess with Baba is you. Hedge and doors stop. Why does it even say doors stop? I feel like I have to be missing something pretty obvious here. Is it that there's no reason? Oh no, you can't, you can't just, oh, pff, well you can just say Baba is win. Yeah, okay, I think this is probably not in its final state, so to speak. Yeah, that doesn't seem like that was the intended solution. I think that was too hard originally, like you had to never go like outside of a certain array of tiles in a way that wasn't obvious. But the flag was obviously just a red herring there. I don't I really don't know if there was more to it the first time I did that level or what. This one is a fun one. Um So, foliage is sync, which means you can get rid of it. Oh wow, is my Final Fantasy XV realm returned, huh? I've been playing uh, Final Fantasy XV A New Empire on my phone for a bad reason, and it's a bad game. Uh, there are a lot of reviews where people say, oh crap, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on this game. Which is nothing special for Mobab Mobage, but it's extra bad um, to see a big IP doing that, I think. Okay, so what's the deal with this level? Ghost has flag, it's beat and shut and push. Oh yeah, I think I always forgot that it was a push. I don't know what the significance of that necessarily is, but I think that adds something to do with the way that you do it. So yeah, you can't get the ghost to the... <laughs> I think what you do is just you push, you make the leaf also be push now that the rock is done. And, uh, then you can just sneak the, wait, can you, okay, okay, yeah, it's a, this was probably the joke I was remembering in the previous, um, Yeah, now you have a leaf that's always telly and sometimes push. Alright, oh, but it doesn't work because floating things don't teleport. You'd think I would remember that. Um, 
I probably messed this up somehow. Just trying to think, how would you... You can make the leaf pushable. Do you, like, use the rock to... Let me, let me go back to an earlier state. I could always make the rock be a leaf and be a third teleporter with that. I think it would still sink, though. Actually, not a hundred percent sure how sync works. Other than, I th I assume it destroys everything, not just uh, stuff with collision. But there's like no easy way to test that because you don't usually get to control whether or not things sync. I feel like I shouldn't be spending so much time on this one, but I think that's going to be a recurring theme as the levels get harder. Um, Although I probably remember the solutions better to the ones I spent longer on the first time. Okay, so really, what are my options here? I don't think you're just supposed to use the rock like that. You can't really alter the properties of anything but the rock and the leaf, though. So, you have to get the ghost down somehow. There's no way to... There's no way to make the leaf be pushable while you're over there. Unless you're on top of the leaf when you make it pushable, and I think that's the solution. So, how would you... I think you would do it a little something like... Yeah, okay, I think this is just another one that's like testing your ability to intuit, um properties of stuff, because yeah, no, you can push it. That was not the intended solution. Stupid rock. Okay. Yeah, but basically, you can get it up there and... Oh no, I'm like way overthinking this. You can't get anything out of that upper area. You just, um... You just want to... Ba, 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 ba. This is like, not a good game to the language of. Hopefully I've said enough, like, nouns and verbs that my strategy is clear. <laughs> yeah, like, you don't do anything with the stupid ghost, you just do this to carry the key out, because it's the only way you can move the key. And you can move the ghost, but it's a red herring that you can move the ghost because it's um up in this little funny nook where you can get things in, but you can't check out. This game likes the stagger walking a lot. And... yep! It's actually, like... Not super intuitive that the flag spawned where I was on the ghost and not where the key was, but I guess that's the difference between open and shut. They're not just annihilate, not just annihilating each other. They're uh, um, what's the word? The open thing is destroying itself, and the closed thing, when you try to move the open thing into the closed thing, but because of that it assumes the closed thing doesn't move. Um, this is a fun level. It took me a decent amount of time to figure out. Basically what you want to do is open up that fungus to get the flag. You die if you go in the foliage, so... I originally thought you were just supposed to pull all the foliage out, but that's not actually how foliage works. 
So the way you actually get this working is sort of interesting, and hopefully I will be able to execute it a little bit faster than I did on my first time through. So the first thing to realize is even though these are like funny hazards, this isn't freaking chips challenge. Those are tools to solve the puzzle. What you want to do is have the three things lined up here, and then you pull... Yeah, because the fungus is pulled by default, and you can use the two is to make the leaf and key both pull at the same time. And then you get it down one that way, and then you can take your pick of how to pull the fungus out of there from that point. So let me get those leaves up there too. Yeah, I think it took me a pretty long time to figure out just that that was what you were supposed to do and not like something crazy where you push the foliage out of the way or have the leaves push you where you want to go. But knowing the solution, I think this is going to be a little bit easier to sync up. And then the other part is like you have a little bit of a cramped space, so it's a little bit annoying to work with, but I think I will manage. Yeah, I'm like very particular about wanting to like have the puzzle pieces easy to reset. Or I want to reset them and not like push them further in the same direction because it's usually more annoying, but like for these where it's just moving a couple spaces, you kind of have to not walk around it, which is a lesson that would be good for me to learn instead of trying to walk around it and then realizing, oh, that took too long and spending more time than I have to on it. Noink. So I did a, like a whole thing where I moved them back around here and pulled it out to the side. It occurs to me that actually I could just do a little bit of this. Um, and now make the leaf pull again. And you can get this one out. And make it move again. No, key is not leaf. Don't believe it. And the flag is not pull, so okay, you don't want that to happen. So I guess that's the... more complicated part of this. So that should work fine if I just make the key go down, yeah, I just want to set that up, but I do really love the, like, mix of pseudocode and block stuff, which is definitely, like, just saying I love the entire game, but that's fairly accurate. Um, it is cool to have to think about where Baba is positioned, because, like, sometimes it's important that you can turn an effect on and then immediately turn it off the next turn, which you can't do if you're coming in the direction of the text. Yeah, that took me much, much less time than it did the first time, even after figuring out the puzzle. This is fun. I love not. Um, so, much by the same logic that fence is not you means that you can't just be fence to win really easily, knots always over overpower the default statement. So, in this case, not stop out overpowers stop and yeah that that I was speculating earlier um oh my god I need to stop quitting to the main menu um, but yeah this is a pretty major thing to have added like you get new words a lot of the time or like have to, I guess the real thing, like what it introduces most of the time in other levels is just new assets, which really don't matter. Um, so there's a variety of ways you could do this. Um, I don't see why this wouldn't be the quickest way to win. 
trying to think if, like, I guess you could also push Baba as you outside and then do not Baba is. Well, no, you couldn't do not Baba is when it has to be unrelated. Yeah, okay, that, that probably is the correct solution then. That's a simple enough one. It might not have multiple puzzles. Oh, this is a fun one. Um, I spent a long time like figuring out how to play with sinking blocks and stuff, and then I saw a screenshot on Steam that you could just do this, and I hadn't. It didn't occur to me. Does this actually help though? Because the trick with this one is, obviously, you don't want Baba is not you. Um, so you have to push. Ha what do you actually do again? Because you can't get down here. Oh, you wanna. Um. I really don't remember, like. Ex oh, you can get. You want the knot down there. And then you do not Baba is not you, and then you push that all the way. So you need the rock just to clear out the ones behind it. I can't rem I, I know I spent a long time on this. I can't really remember if that was... Because... I was thinking of the solution still, or what? And, uh... Yeah, so you can't do the not rock is push trick very easily because of that tree. That would be a not rock that is push. Um... Yeah, revisiting these is almost, like, harder sometimes. I mean... Let the let's play curse is real, folks. But other than that, um... Like, I, I already know the basic method of the solution. And that almost makes it, like, harder in the sense that I'm trying to see if I can improve on that or get that, like, really super fast. If that makes sense. So... What is the joke here? Because there's nothing you can really do. Like, yeah, this just kills you. Don't do that. This makes it impossible to get to the flag. Don't do that. There's no way to get above this without using up your rocks, and at least one of the rocks needs to be uh, going to this thing to get the get behind the knot once you've pushed it down there. I think you do something cute with uh, the text, maybe a little... yeah, okay, I remembered it. This is a good VidCon. Um, I think you also want to, yeah, you don't ever need to do not rock as push, that's kind of just a red herring. This game has a lot more red herrings than I was expecting it to, but yeah, this is, this is sufficient, I think. Um, is it? No, okay, 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 you don't want it. You don't want to do that to this one. You want to just uh, yeah, get that corner cut so you can actually get around it later. And at this point, you're good to... Uh... Uh, but that would get the knot out of the way. Okay, after, after this, you don't actually need the... Yeah, okay, so my mistake was just you don't put the knot there originally. There, I can't off the top of my head tell you 
how you get the knot over there, but it is not by doing it first like that, because there's no reason to do that, or there's a reason not to do it, which is worse than no reason to do it. You can do things for no reason a lot in this game, and it doesn't really punish for you, but you can't do th things that you can't do for a reason. Yeah, okay, well, uh, you, you can't get stuff out of here, can you? Oh, but pff, because you have not rock is... Pff, no, that doesn't help. Oh my god, this game is demonic crazy sometimes. You do this because now you can complete not rock is push from down here without getting blocked by the tree, and now you can just take, like, you have free reign over the level, you can get that water hazard out of there entirely if you wanted. That's not true, you can't get it out of the corners or sides, but... Fun level, good video game. This, I, I don't think I did that one on my first visit here. Maybe I did, maybe I did. It was around this point that I started, like, sinking several hours at a time in a time, uh, into the game. Okay, the flag needs to be- I can't mess with any of those. Flag is not box is a stupid rule. Um, uh, this one is the whole- Yeah, this whole puzzle is the moral of double negatives. It's probably a little too easy. It's not hard to execute and, I mean, there's not really enough moving parts. I don't know, maybe, maybe you had a hard time with it. Maybe not everybody is hyper-pedantic logic puzzle man. Puzzle mind. Um, me is you, that's crazy. I kept thinking like, oh, is me never you? But me is sometimes you. It's proven by this one. There's not really much to do here. I, is this just an introduction to text? And slightly convoluted puzzles. God, this is a really good joke, though. Yeah, okay, okay, the fact that you have to keep text as you surviving is a good, good joke. Is that a wall? Wait. How, what is the joke here? I don't want to do that. So you, you have to go up. You can't go more than... I don't remember, like, even blanking on this the first time. I swear I'm smart, guys. I mean, like, there's literally nothing else you can even do in here. There's no real... I mean, Mia's text would make nobody be you, and there's no reason to do that anyway. So, you don't want to destroy wind, so that kinda means you have to go up. Is there anything you get out of a wall no longer being a wall? Let me just restart this one. Um, this rock is push. Lost feet. I could use this rock to. Oh my god! Okay, I figured it out. I I'm trying to. I mean, I obviously had to have done this before. There are so many of these I just like did while I was in the zone, and I don't have like any memory of them. Like, all the ones that aren't super hard, I just don't remember compared to the ones that I was really stuck on for a long time. But, yeah, you can use a rock because the wall isn't actually collision. Now the wall is text. And it's funny that because it was on top of a wall. Why is it... 
Why is that crossed out, actually? Is, is there a wall as well? Oh, oh, there, there is a wall as well up there. That's funny. Anyway, that's a good joke. One of the big visual payoffs. Broken Playground is fun. I remember this one. Um, man, I have another quest complete in Final Fantasy XV A New Empire. Thank God that it's telling me. I don't know what I would do if I... Um, well. So... The text is float, so you can't do any little jokes with it. What you can do little jokes with is, uh... Fox can be me. Yeah, I like spacing out on this. I can't get the is you, so you can't really do any tricks that way. Um, the only way to get text up there in the corner to make something be win would be to, uh, to turn an object into text, but you can't push any of them. Is there like... What am I missing here? Definitely can't, uh, do any tricks to make the text stop floating. You don't want to do text is flag or text is box because that would turn all text into stuff. Well, and box is stop. Box is flag. Like, what would that do? How am I not remembering this? There's like not enough moving parts for it to be confusing. Can't mess with the water. I mean, the thing is I like have so many little funny rigid rules that uh, probably some of them are wrong. Yeah, the thing is, like, you can't just go back and say, oh, I'll, I'll do a little switcheroo. I'll say that text is bo box is text to move it, and then do because <laughs> that's what happens if you do that. Um, is there any reason? What am I missing here? Text is float, water is teleport. Boxes stop. I guess one of the other things has to be me. That's like really the only, uh. Okay, okay, okay. I remember the joke. How do I set this up? I. Th uh -huh, th this is pretty early in the game for that joke to show up. It probably would work, but. Basically, there's a little joke that you can do in this video game about, um, about turning something into text when text is overlapping it. So, um, that's not what I want. Um, I'm not explaining this very well. Basically, if I could turn Keke into text right now, I would have a Keke flag duality, which would be... Why do I think that's useful? If I have something in two... S okay, yeah, if I'm controlling two guys at once, and one of those guys is a box, I could bring it into the portal, then turn it into text. 
And if I was just two box, oh my god, uh, this video game. The power of uh, positive thinking, everyone. You actually, like, I literally have this set up the one way where it's not going to work because you don't want the boxes on top of each other. Yeah, there's no reason to place the box until you have two boxes. Um... Yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually recording this before I'm uploading the last video where I asked about if I should speed things up. Um... Oh my god, I, like, made this so annoying to do. Fox make me angry by messing me up, so I'm just gonna make Keke the wind condition instead. I think that'll be fine. It won't be fine, will it? <laughs> Am I? Like, it can't be much more complicated than this. I think you have three- look, whenever it gives you three things, that gives you, like, an extra one for storage if you need to do a little joke with two characters and then change it back, so... Does that thing I said make any sense? Yeah, I'm not gonna speed this up because I'm actually confused. I'm not just, like, having trouble getting it to work. And I think some of the enjoyment will be the memory process. I feel a lot dumber than I... I mean, maybe I don't feel dumber because I can just say, Oh, I already beat this, I'm so smart, but... Like... It is frustrating to, uh... Yeah, um... So, I want to... Okay, that's what these little, like, squares with the trees are for. You, you're you supposed to, um, sync yourself up so you can make Keke be you again, or whoever. Like, I think you could do this with any of the objects, basically. The fact that the boxes stop doesn't really mean anything in this context, but you want to... change things so okay so I'm gonna go one two three four and down okay I can't it would always go too far in either direction wouldn't it is there like an extra layer to this where well I mean there's always this potential extra layer or yeah okay that was the thing I wasn't paying attention to Now, if I'm here, I go, uh, 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 no, that's too far. Oh my god, this video game. Restarting isn't going to help me at this point. Um, well, okay, rewinding to where boxes you isn't all the way on the side, so I can change where I want it, potentially will help. Um, okay, okay, I think it's, no, I'd like, Okay, okay, my problem is, like, obsessing about being in that little box when there's no reason for that, and in fact that's what was making it impossible because that heavily restricts your movement, but you can use these consummate boxes to heavily restrict your movement without goofing yourself up the way that I was. Okay, 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 I got it this time. So I need to make that box up three, is that three or four? That's three. And to the right one, so. Um, like this, I think. Yep. <sighs> Fun. Okay, so now I'm Keke and I have that teleporty box. Um,
Did I mess that up again? I can do... How else would you do that, though? You need to have two of one type of thing. You, there's nothing conditional here. So now I have boxes win. And if I was the flag right now, that wouldn't really be any more helpful. Like, the, the, the person that I choose to begin with is pretty much irrelevant. In order to do this joke where I um, get something onto the portal at the same time as a... Uh, I switch characters, I would need two of one character. And then obviously whichever one's on the water, um isn't a portal, it's water. It's a teleporting water or tellying water. Uh, so the rules boxes win, and obviously that turns every version of something into text. How am I like, how am I so confused by this? There's, this is embarrassing, oh no, uh oh. Too proud to speed it up. I'm just like trying to. I remember how to do it. It's probably this, huh? Yeah. I seem to recall that being the answer. Does that actually help though? I know I did this to to win the first time. I remember messing around with like this stuff, but Okay, okay. For reals this time. With text as me, there's nothing I can't do. So basically what I would want to do is, as before, no, I'm like, so bad at this one for some reason today. Obviously, text doesn't ever become anything else because that would break the game. If Keke, like... Oh, I do remember the significance of the box being stopped now. That's so you can change stuff as text. Okay, and now all it's up here. I can... That's not how I want to do that, though. Um... Dun, dun. Is it like, uh... I want to be walking onto that as I replace it, which just doesn't work when it's up here, but I could make the box be me and move it down one. Yeah, and then while it's down one, it can... No, it has to go back up to push. This game is freaking cursed. I 
I probably messed it up already. Um, I mean, mostly I didn't want the text in the side up there. Oh, I guess I can't mess it up because I can view the text and I can move it back out. Whatever. What am I doing? What is my process? I am going to control the text to make it so... Basically, I want to be maybe the flag. Now it's like, there's no... What am I forgetting about the way this works? Whatever I turn into text up there has to be not the only version of that thing. And the only way to accomplish that is to do that before I transform either the box or the flag into the other flag or box. I can't have two of them existing at the same time. And because I can move the text by being the text, yeah, the first thing I have to do is somehow... Okay, wh what is it going to look like? I'm going to be standing like up here and pushing text down. Okay, I think I'm... I think I'm remembering how to... So that's not acceptable. That's not... That's not gonna work for me. If I push it up like this, now I can go down here. Now it's not on the same level as that. Is that where it's... That's not where it started, no. Yeah, what I want is, um... Yeah, if I push one more thing into that, I'll warp and um, shift to text at the same time, which is what I want. And then I can shift back to something else. Yeah, okay, okay, this is what I want to do. So I'll just make Kekai be the win condition because it doesn't really matter. It's a mild annoyance that... uh. That is when text isn't synced up, but that's easily r remedied. Now the flag is me. Yeah, there's like really no issue there. And now I want Keke to be text. And then finally I'll make the box Keke. And, whew. and that's the power of Baba's U. Puzzle so hard I forgot how I did it the first time. That's the power of the puzzle. Also, the hardest part about this game is that you have to have to put the words in the right order or they don't do anything. Okay, vid video games. Now that's what I call a broken playground. I I guess in this case the A B C D like the lettered levels tend to be harder than numbered ones. That's I guess somewhat subjective, but I'm a Baba as you master and that level gave me trouble. Um, Kekke's hot. How's this joke? Ghost is defeat and melt. Oh, Kekke is there. He is real. So... Hmm. What I want is... For Kekke to be me and hot. And there's not enough is's for that. But what I could do is have Keke walk into that skull at the same time I stop being, or Keke stops being you. And that should work fine, right? It's just a matter of getting the characters synced up. Um, they already are synced up, which is... Uh, like, there's so many things that, like, feel like they should be tricky. Yeah, this is fine. You just make a little cycle like this. Yep, and now Keke doesn't get destroyed because he is not currently me. Now the beautiful thing about Baba... Th this is the beauty of Baba is you. Keke is hot now and the ghost... I never made it so that the skull was melt so this whole exercise was futile. Which is good to know. Um, you can't make skull push. Um, you can't make Skull freaking anything. 
so oh and the text is defeat means you can't do any funny jokes with text is you unfortunately what do I want to be weak why is that weak there oh text is weak oh yeah I forgot about that uh, the classic Baba is you moment now the hard part no the hard part about this isn't that you don't get the is back because you do get the is back you just destroy the weak yeah so now the skull isn't defeat so that whole exercise was pointless the ghost is still defeat and you can't do anything about that so what do you do about that you can't what do you do about that oh ghost is the one that's melt so how do I get a hot boy? Oh, I make the skull be Keke. And then make Keke be push. Except I want Keke to be me, so the flag is win first. I need him a little bit antsy sometimes doing things as I as they occur to me and not based on the order that would win the video game. Yeah, so at this point, now Skull can freely be Keke, who can be hot, who can be push, right? Er, no, not in that order, but... Yeah, okay. Really, that, that wasn't too hard, it was just figuring out the order to do things. I like that level, though. Uh, makes you, makes you, oh, Scenic Pond, this is, this is a classic. They this might have the most versions out of any level except like the first level or the zeroth level this is the most innocent version of it um, Keke has text but where's Keke? that's that's ridiculous um, so actually I think that text has Baba and you know what Baba might have a little text himself but not yet but yeah there's like three levels that start this way and they're not there, there's an extra version of this one I assume and then there's one in another world that's just called like scenic pond returns which is funny this is the easiest version except I think it took me longer to figure out what you were supposed to do here than it did to uh do the next one which was mostly because I wasn't thinking about the float Wait, oh my god, this is, this is cursed. Yeah, so, oh, no, it's not cursed. Yeah, the, the hardest version of this, that doesn't work out because there's nothing that you can do to move that float, and you're stuck, but deep pool is good, yeah. That one... The stuff is just there for decoration, but it's fenced off, which is amusing. Um, this time the skull is only defeat, which is your is your secret hint to what you have to do to beat it. And I don't know, this kind of like weird roundabout thinking kind of makes more sense to me than like basic game mechanics for whatever reason. So, um, I've spent a very long time on the hard version of this level, so I'm very good at navigating multiple Babas in this little map, and like, I know the all the cool routes you have to take to uh, get things working. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly how you're supposed to do this. Because, uh, I mean, the joke is that Baba has Baba, I think. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's just a little bit tedious how you have to get there. I think I messed it up already. I think you... Um, yeah, basically you want that Baba there, but you want these two already cleared out, and the only way to do that is... Um, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I know I, I've done this so many times, I have like not muscle memory, but like the cursed logic puzzle equivalent of muscle memory of it. There might be some like really cursed alternate way to do this where you actually use Keke, but I don't know how to do it if there is one. 
Um, so yeah, we don't start with that because... Right, right, there, there's like, I'm so... I have like Pokemon sliding block puzzles ingrained into my mind. And I'm like, well, you obviously want to do the one on the side first because then you push the middle one forward or whatever the hell that like layout of three normally is. But this is not the same as pushing and there's no reason to do that up there because you have that fenced area that you can realign yourself on. So yeah, now, um, no, do you, I guess you have to just clear out everything because you have to push text into, into those. This is the rare example of a level where I'm like, I tend to overthink it and not waste my time pushing without any plan. When actually, yeah, like once you're up here, you can get it to work. It has to work. It would be very bad if they designed this in a way where you just couldn't do it with an even number of puddles. So the trick is you turn Baba into text you turn the text back into Baba, and then you turn that Baba back into text, and then you can push it down. I was gonna say, like, oh, you can't see me looking at the screen, so you don't know what I'm saying when I'm, like, doing that in order, referring in my mind to the, uh, different blocks. But, actually, in real life, if you could see me look with my eyes, that's not how that works, and you wouldn't be able to know what I was thinking just from looking at my eyes and uh, oh yeah, uh, this video game is driving me insane. Pretty happy with this LP so far. Baba has Baba is a good freaking power though. That would be his final smash in when they add Baba Smash Brother. And finally, Skeletal Door. For a second it looked like Skeletal was spelled wrong, but actually, they spelled Skeletal right. Um... This is a joke level, apparently, because there's nothing... Like, it has to be... What the heck? Ah! Oh, uh, it is a joke level. Yeah, so... Um, that's nothing. I, okay, it's not just a joke. Oops, you don't want to do that. Yep, I remember the joke. You're playing as the D-pad of gaming fame. And then, uh... Hmm. I need to... Man, this is weird. How do I desync it at this point? I can't lose. I have to use push. I have to destroy push. Um. Is there like a way I have to set that up specific? Like there's. Obviously, you have to be in that orientation to a. Uh, Why is it? What is that? Why? Why my focus change? That keeps happening. Um. So. Yeah, the problem is there's no way to get it. I like definitely did this in like a minute the first time I did it. I don't know why I'm so cursed these days. Um, I mean, I do know it's the LP curse. The curse of narrating things. Technically making you worse at focusing. So... 
Oh my god, I remembered how to do it. Um, that whole idea was a red herring. Um, a lot of stuff in this game is red herrings, okay? Um, is this how I want to do it? Um, 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 um. Basically the joke is you go back to controlling Baba, and then... What am I even talking about? That's not even, like, possible. I can't just be the word you floating around of jokes. Um... I f I figured it out. Wait, no, that doesn't work because you can't do it. Ha! Ah. Wait, well, actually, it might work because you can do it. Um. I'm like basically just demoralized at this point, I think. This should not be taking me so long. Um, I was you. Got it. <laughs> now that I can work with. It's like a person in the audience who knows the solution and is frustrated watching me. I'm in your shoes. Because I know the solution too, and it's frustrating me that I don't remember it. Because I've beaten this video game before, I was like, oh, this is gonna be really quick and easy and just showing off victory lap, but. Amnesia is real. Um, text is push is nothing. It has to be text is you into. Uh, and there's just like. Yeah, there's no way to align the is you statement vertically, which is the killer here. Um. Yeah. Oh wait, if Baba is pushed, Baba has collision. Ugh, that's the thing I was missing. So, you don't want to push Baba into the, um... Wait, how does that help? It doesn't... I guess it, it, it... Ah! This video game is cursed. Hey, I see the solution now. Um, it's A, don't put Baba where he doesn't belong. B, um, yeah, my problem was I was desyncing Baba and I wasn't thinking that Baba's relative orientation to the level mattered, but it does because you ha just have to do it right here. And I don't know how that took me, like, I, I'm definitely just LP curse, you know? Okay, leaf is move. I didn't think that had a bonus stage, but I was a little bit worried. Um, I think starting with this one, I'm going to do timestamps in the description because it was long, and this is probably the first world where. I mean, uh, people could get stuck on any world. I, uh, this is a hard video game, as much as I like being self effacing, but. Um, yeah, timestamps so you don't have to sit through me blanking on solutions that I should have remembered, or could have remembered at the very least. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this was hope this was enjoyable. N descent into madness. A little annoyed how long this went, but hey, that's just that's just cats. <laughs>